guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video we'll be doing another divine masculine divine feminine reading if you do enjoy this video as always please give it a thumbs up leave a comment and subscribe also join membership if you'd like to it's the join button below this video or the link in the description box um definitely join if you find this reading to resonate with you that is where i post all of my channel messages all the details about the reading um we definitely go further in depth in members so definitely join if you are interested or if obviously you feel like this is your story um yeah and it really helps support my channel as well and thank you to anyone who also decides to donate ever to the channel or um donate anything on the amazon wish list as well like paypal donations anything like that really appreciate it thank you to those who have done that and um yeah we're gonna get into this reading today guys um i won't go too far into any channel messages or anything we'll say that mostly for members all the details and stuff just because my last video i felt like was so long with channel messages and i apologize for that it wasn't like my best way of conveying the message i wasn't really happy with the content but i'm glad you guys still supported it so thank you um but yeah i'm just gonna read more naturally i feel like in this reading because it, it's just it's nicer that way so all right Basically, in this reading, guys, um, what I've been seeing consistently lately is there is just someone from your past who is um, really regretful, really regretful for how things ended with you. Um, they are just not happy with themselves for how they acted. Someone, very strongly, I'm getting this message super clear, they feel like they acted immature in the past um, and they feel like they lost you because of that. Um, they feel like embarrassed as well for their past actions like they're physically like they're actually embarrassed for the way that they acted or something they said or did or how they went about something they wish they could go back in time and change everything that they said um but at the same time i also see that this person went through a lot of growth because of what they said to you in the past or, or said to you sorry like how things ended between you guys in the past i see they went through a lot of growth so there's part of them that also kind of respects you for that like they they feel like you were like a changing point in their life like um a, a huge factor in in their growth or something like you led them to start something new or to be someone else that they've never been before and so they're really thankful for that so for that reason they kind of are grateful for how things went but at the same time they don't like how they ended things with you and they feel like they hurt you and they want to fix that and they want to apologize is what I'm seeing here very strongly. Someone wants to come back and they want to apologize for something that they said in the past. Um, I'm also getting <laughs> a lot of messages about uh, physical, the physical body as well. Someone is very, very attracted to you, like extremely physically attracted to you. Um, I'm also seeing guys in the past, there's definitely um, a third party that was involved that's what I'm seeing. Uh, just like there was someone outside of you guys that was having influence on your connection or this person's feelings towards you. I see that you guys you guys could have talked about this person. They could have mentioned this person. Um, maybe you had to kind of drag it out of them or something like that. Or maybe you don't you didn't know till later on. But I do see that there was a third party. This could have been someone's like previous ex, like before you or something. They still have lingering feelings for. Or this could have been just a totally just random other person. Um, Whoever they were, I do see this person, yeah, they, they could have said something about them, but I don't see they said, like, the full extent of what was actually going on with this other person or what they were dealing with or the emotions they held, still had, something like that. Um, yeah, I'm also seeing when it comes to how the connection ended between you guys, there was some sort of conversation you guys had, um, could have been in, like, a very intimate moment as well or, like, in the bed or bedroom or I don't know, something like that is what I'm getting um, or over the course of, like, a few days, but whatever it was, the way you guys ended things, um, I just see that what was going on was, like, you wanted a straight answer from this person about a commitment, you wanted them to commit, I'm seeing this very strongly for Divine Feminine, um, you were very direct with what you wanted, you wanted commitment, you wanted someone who was serious about you, and you thought this person was, but then you found out they, they weren't as serious maybe as you thought they were, um, or they weren't really into committing. And I just see that you spent, you guys spend a lot of time thinking about this, trying to make it work or something. And then eventually, like, I just see someone walked away here. I am seeing this in this reading specifically as a divine feminine. Someone walked away from this situation because they just gave up on it. It was like you just got tired of waiting for an answer. You got tired of someone who didn't want to be serious with you or give you what you wanted. And I feel, feel like this is why this is divine feminine 
to my masculine reading, like a twin flame reading, because you stood in your power. This is something you maybe didn't do before. You've never like stood up for yourself or really just said like, you know what, then I'm done. Like, because you're like, I put up with people like this in the past. I've, I've stayed in connections like this and it never works out for me. So you know what, I'm as much as this hurts me, because I see this really did break your heart to do this. Like this was not something you wanted to do, but you ended this connection with this person or you walked away from this person. There's something about letting them go. Letting go is a huge message here I keep getting lately. Someone let someone go because they still love them, but you guys didn't have the same vision for the future. You weren't at the same points in your life. This person, this masculine, I see wanted to travel. They wanted to go out and do things. They wanted to meet more people. They wanted to live the single life, maybe. Um, they just weren't ready to be, I'm seeing it as tied down. They didn't want to be tied down to anything. And they felt like relationships come with a bunch of, you know, other commitments and other things. And they just felt like, and just wasn't right for them at the time. They also might have felt their money wasn't right at the time or something. So they couldn't be in a relationship. They had to focus on their career. And again, I'm seeing something about a legacy they wanted to leave. I, I don't know why it was something about that. So yeah, I just see that you decided to walk away. And I also see though, during this time where you guys were deciding maybe what to do with the connection, I also see this masculine. There's something about a little bit of like ego and ma manipulation here, guys, to be honest. Um, I am seeing that someone here could have held back on messaging you because they wanted to see what you would do first um they it's something about a test like they were trying to see like basically they were trying to see who would break first or this is now at this point someone's waiting on someone else to break first i feel like this could have been in the past but i also feel it's carrying on till and like until now but i do see someone's kind of overcoming their ego a bit now and they may you know decide that it's not worth it anymore to hold back but in the past i see this masculine definitely could have tried to hold back on messaging you or saying anything or tried to act cool with ending things like he played it almost and remember you can change it he or she and they played it almost too cool to the point where it didn't work out in their favor they thought it was going to they thought that acting this way they could have also got advice from a friend or something to do this like to just like I don't know. It's like they thought that if they just didn't reach out first, that they did, I don't know, like that you would just come back to them or something. It's almost like they just thought that they always had the upper hand, that you'd always be there for them. But at some point, I just see like you walked away or you stopped messaging or something like that. Like you just went cold on them. You became the Queen of Swords energy here, which is very direct, very cold. Like she knows what she wants. She's not a bad person. She just knows what she wants. Like when she's in the upright, and this is just someone who's very like intellectual. They're like, you know, they're not taking any uh, shit from nobody. Like they, they want what they want and you know, they have their own boundaries as well. I'm seeing you set boundaries with this person of what you wanted. And you were like, this is the level that I want someone to be at in a relationship with me. And if you can't reach that level, you can't act like that, then I'm gonna end this with you. And yeah, this person, realize that later on like you really set your boundaries because i just see you walked away and this shocked this person like we didn't know when you stopped messaging or maybe started acting more cold towards them they were not expecting this they just expected you to keep to act, keep like coming for them they wanted you to chase them they wanted you to come back for them consistently and maybe you did for a bit but i feel like eventually you just realize like no i'm not gonna play this game anymore and you just like cut it off you were done with this and i see like that's when there was a lot of silence between you guys um and again i just see this masculine still expecting you by the way i don't know what's with my um video right now i just see this max masculine still expecting you to reach back out to say something like they wanted you to break first and even if you did already reach out before, like they just expected you to continuously reach out first. And eventually they realized that that's just not gonna really work anymore. And so now I see it's almost the opposite where this masculine is thinking that they're gonna have to say something because they're starting to realize if they don't say anything, you're never gonna say anything. Like it's like they have to finally be the one to take the action and stand in Ember energy. Because in the past, I see that this person, guys, they were in such a, just like Knight of Wands energy. They were in like, I don't know, just they were in it for, you know, the sexual part of things. They were not thinking about the long term with you. I have to be honest, like at least at first I see that. Although again, <clears throat> if a breakup occurred here, I do see that this masculine played it off way more cool 
than they actually were. They had so many hidden feelings that they didn't really bring up to you. So when you ended this, they had, it was tougher for them than they put put on. Like it was a lot tougher. And I'm also saying guys, this masculine could have like not long after you ended things, gotten into a new relationship. Um, this could have been with third party from their past that was kind of the one that disrupted your connection or a different third party. I'm just seeing they jumped into something very quickly. Um, during that time, you could have messaged them at some point, like maybe you did reach back out like once or something. I don't know, if you messaged them during this time, I'm just seeing that they were kind of thrown off by this. They were a little bit like taken aback by you reaching out maybe while they were in another connection or maybe you didn't even know they were someone else until you messaged them. Um, but I just see there's something about you, you sending a message when they were with another person, something about that. Um, and at that time, I see that they were like, the message really threw them for a loop. They kind of just like all of a sudden had a bunch of nostalgic feelings coming back and they started thinking about you again when you messaged them but they felt like they fun they couldn't fully like reply because they were with this other person and also because i feel like guys this other person was watching their phone or they took their phone and they looked at it they saw the messages um i am seeing that and they got really angry about it and they were asking about you and comparing themselves to you um yeah really really strongly getting that um someone was angry about seeing messages from you to this person whether it was like during the connection or maybe they were past messages this person just wanted to know who you were i don't know but there was definitely a third party that was comparing themselves to you is what i'm seeing and um yeah again when this when you message this masculine um i'm seeing that they wanted to reply more like they wanted to say something more or they wanted to clarify as well something about this new connection because i am seeing like they didn't want you to think they've jumped in something right away because they didn't have feelings for you guys if you saw someone jump in a connection right after being with you i'm seeing it wasn't like that it was because for one i'm seeing they could have been trying to make you jealous with the new connection they thought that this was a good way to just like you know it's again the ego this person has so much ego like back back when you guys were first I don't know, after, after you guys just recently ended, like there was a lot of ego there. And so they were trying to kind of like play it off like they're totally fine and moving on with their life. But then when you reached out or something or maybe you said something, they just like, they felt bad. They were like, this isn't really like, I'm not actually that happy. Like they were pretending guys. I'm seeing someone was pretending to be more happy than they actually were in a, in a third party connection. Um, they really did actually miss you is what I'm seeing. This person especially if you reached out when they were with someone else they they missed you and they realized that and but they had to keep putting on this show like they were fine because again the whole ego thing and plus they were with someone else now so there was someone else's feelings involved in this person whoever they were with from what i'm seeing this person is very clingy and very controlling and they like to always check his phone and see what he's doing stuff like that so um yeah you had to be careful with what he said and things like that so anyways, um, this masculine also may have not responded to one of your messages or something. They may have ended the contact very quickly because of this, once again, because of the other person watching. Um, that's what I'm seeing here. But another thing, guys, I'm getting this message. This isn't like I'm half getting this message. I'm like, this is a message that's been coming through super clearly lately. Um, if let's person was like you know physically involved with this other person and they had been physical with you before i just see that they still thought of you a lot in the bedroom whether they were with you or not um whether they were by themselves or not they thought of you they may have looked at photos of you uh this is a very clear message um also i'm getting that when they're with this other person um they may have been good with them at first but i feel like at some point they started to be not this sounds so bad i'm so sorry for anyone else watching but like they started to be not as attracted to this third party anymore um that's what i'm getting and the and the person whoever was the third party they started asking this masculine like are you not attracted to me anymore like they started asking if you were better in bed than them 
like they were comparing themselves to you i see this third party was physically like trying to compete with you something about um they they were insecure about their their body or they felt like they weren't good enough for him or something or that they had to like i don't know they felt like something about you was more attractive to this person and so they were trying to be more like you even um but I don't know if they would admit that out loud like I felt like this was something more internal but I did I do think they did question him though like was she better and better or something like why are you not turned on right now like it was something like that like this person was not getting turned on and I see guys to get turned on they would like think of images of you or like look at something on their phone of you like they literally thought of you to get turned on with someone else like that is what i'm seeing i'm sorry like this is such a clear message but that is what i'm getting um they never stop thinking about you and it's like this person is so physically attracted to you like if you all if you ever had insecurities about anything like don't worry this person is so attracted to you it's crazy like i'm telling you guys this person is obsessing over you now like i'm i'm literally getting the energy of someone obsessing like they're they're so attracted to you and it's not just physical attraction like this it's like this intense attraction that they can't explain and i'm even getting for some of you there's something about someone feeling like there's this, been a spell put on them they feel like there's there's a spell on them like they can't get you off their mind they're like i don't know why i'm so drawn to you and i'm even getting someone saying like is this what love feels like like they don't know they're just like i, I don't know i can't get this person off my mind i'm also seeing guys this person is having um visions of you like dreams of you at night um by the way sorry i just realized we're on cinematic one second okay that's better um <laughs> they're having I, i'm getting stuff about apparitions like someone is they're having like very vivid dreams of you uh, that is what i'm getting like they're seeing you in the room do you guys remember the message i don't know if it was members or general but i said that someone was actually almost hearing you like you were in the room like it felt so real one night like someone dreamt of you i feel like you're in there i'm not kidding guys like someone is dreaming of you very strongly um it's not only that i'm also getting that someone could have started to try to again like we talked about in the last video they started to try and put their emotions into something so i see someone trying to do artwork or trying to do um like writing like writing poetry writing just down stuff in a journal just as like something therapeutic i could someone could have been working even with a therapist to try and talk about this to see if this was normal like they're trying to move on and they can't that's another message yeah someone's trying to move on and they couldn't move on i'm just seeing someone's friends could have said like you need to let this girl go like you need to let this guy go you need to move on but they just couldn't guys like i'm just seeing that they just couldn't let go they couldn't stop thinking about you and they just decided they're like i don't know i, I guess i just can't let go i just can't stop thinking about them like <laughs> no matter how hard they tried no matter, no matter how much like therapy and things like that maybe like they just realized that it's just not gonna happen like they just can't <laughs> they just can't and um so anyways i see someone like doing artwork and something and guys i'm even seeing for some of you someone painted a portrait of you like they could have painted your face or like painted what they've been dreaming or something like they're using you this sounds <laughs> they're not using you they're they're using well they're using the idea of you like for inspiration or something like they're using it to make something i feel like a, a song or or artwork or something artistic creative like they're putting it into something all this stuff that they've been seeing or whatever feeling that's what i'm getting but yeah I, I do see in someone's room they could literally have like a portrait of you on their wall that they painted or something or just like i don't know a picture of you i don't know that's super weird but like that's just what i'm getting someone is looking at you a lot they look at your pictures a lot um they just feel this is super intense like draw to you by the way i'm sorry my cat is like eating a box again um <laughs> anyways and this person definitely um they write a lot or they read a lot they're very intellectual um they they've been doing a lot of research on certain things too maybe um stuff about like connections and like how like is this normal to be feeling this way for this long like stuff like that that's what i feel but um they also feel like you're like a reflection of them like i keep hearing that song i'm looking right at the other half of me they can see it felt in my heart is a space and now it's gone 
Um, also, if you see this too, it looks like a diamond. Uh, that again makes me think of diamond ring proposal. And this is the Four of Wands card, which talks about marriage, talks about stability, long-term commitment, um, the home. So I do feel like this is something that this person, th yeah, they, they want it with you now is what I'm going to say. Um, so basically in the past, this person, again, they acted very immature. Um, they did not want something serious with you, but I realized but I realized, they realized, what am I saying? <laughs> but they realized that basically after um, you left them and they were at a distance from you, I just see that they expected at a far distance, even I'm seeing someone like moved away, like they tried to get even far away or live new experiences, meet new people. They tried to do, start new hobbies. Like everything they've tried is not worked. Like they just still feel this connection to you and they there's something about you being very powerful like i don't know just something about you draws them in very strongly and i'm also seeing for some of you you are a manifester you're manifesting this um and whatever you're manifesting guys like it's working um someone is feeling it you're they're feeling whatever you're wanting because i do see that you've never given up hope that this connection could eventually come back together like i just see that you always kind of knew in the back of your mind that one day you guys might reunite. And I feel like this person kind of felt that way too already, but you just really held out the hope and you've just been very set on that. Like you're very direct with your thoughts and what you want. And I don't know, I feel like this person is feeling that now. And um, so anyways, I do see that now this person is in an emperor energy they're actually coming up a lot in the reads now as an emperor rather than like a knight of wands or something um they're coming up as an emperor and this means that like i am seeing that they want to be like a father figure i see them wanting children with you i see them wanting a family with you now this person is all of a sudden serious and guys every time i do these readings lately i'm pulling out that um what is it the judgment card which is all about uh, a realization and awakening and this is what you caused in them and there's also a card i pulled earlier that said something about i hate the way you make me feel but it's like because you're making them feel something for the first time i heard that like i'm feeling like this person you know that oh, sorry i don't want to ruin it the barbie movie again but anyway someone is feeling something for the first time i feel like they've woken up they've never felt this before with anyone else and they're like what did you do to me? <laughs> like, why do I want this with you now? Why do I want to get married? Why do I want to have kids? Like, I never wanted this before. And now I want everything. It's like their whole perspective changed after you. I'm telling you guys, that is exactly the message I'm picking up on. Um, if someone was a player before, they are not a player anymore. They want you. They only want you. I'm telling you, all I keep hearing is only you, all the songs about only wanting you. And look up here too with this third party it says she isn't you guys they became bored with a third party if they were with someone they were not happy they played it off like they were but they were not they were missing you the entire time and they realized that and that's why i i do see like we talked about this they ended something with the third party is what it looks like i do see this person being single right now i also been hearing messages about someone wanting to tell you they're single right now and because this person is in an emperor energy now, they've kind of started to realize what their ego did to them in the past. They're realizing that their ego, waiting for you to text or, you know, trying to act all cool, calm and collected um, so that you'll reach out, <laughs> it's just not going to work anymore. And they've, they've realized all the damage that it's caused and they're like, okay, I need a new approach now. So now their, their approach is wanting to reach out to you, guys, is what I'm seeing. Someone wants to reach out to you first now. Um, it does say happening in the future and we have I'm going to text you working up the courage to speak to you um, And also something about a missed opportunity once again So this person I do see once again something about a phone call more than anything and also a letter like I've been telling you guys is coming through constantly um, I, I do see someone wrote something for you and they want to give it to you something about a delivery um, they want to hand deliver it though. I just keep getting that like they want to give it to you in person, whatever this letter is, but I do see like a phone call first where someone's going to express something, um, and then also potentially ask you out to meet in person. Um, but I see them wanting to do that. That's what this death card is here. There's, it's like a death to their ego. It's a change, a transformation. This person is not 
gonna do the same thing they've always done. Do you see this? This is an exp uh, like um, reaching out and expressing something with emotion. They're gonna say something because they can't get you off their mind. They're obsessing over you and they're starting to lose it a little bit. They're like, oh my God, I have to do something. I have to take action. And um, I have been hearing something about just finishing something up, finishing a project. I don't know, whatever it is, maybe that they were making even inspired by you, they're gonna send it to you. I keep seeing something about artwork or painting or like, again, just writing uh, poetry, something along those lines. Like you could receive something like that this person has been working on for a long time um i keep having stuff about the notebook coming up too guys like i feel like it's something like that like you know when he says like i've written you she's like you never wrote me and he's like i wrote you letters for 365 days or something like that it's gonna be like that like this person has been writing things but not sending them i feel or they made or they spent so much time making something for you and they just never gave it to you like it's something like that like you've been on their mind for so long and you're finally gonna find out about this is what I feel and it's because you're manifesting this this is something that you're bringing into reality like because you're you're expecting it, you're assuming it's gonna happen and so it is that's what I'm seeing um but anyways yeah so we see silence up here as well this has been for a long period of time for you guys probably and then we have a new beginning trying again starting over um something about flowers could be important as well um or like springtime or something along those lines um also having getting stuff about pink flowers and then also like it, it keeps making me think of water lilies for some reason like something in the water or a pond um what else was i getting and then a walk in a park that keeps coming out like something about a walk in a park um i also heard the saying earlier today i'll cross that bridge when i get there so it could be something about a bridge as well um what was the other thing i was getting there's something else i've also been getting messages really weirdly about baking cookies like very strong messages about baking cookies um chocolate chip cookies toll house cookies i'm gonna talk about more of that in members but like I'm, i was getting like the full rundown of someone making cookies like the full thing <laughs> it was wild so yeah again if you guys want um the details about this reading definitely join members uh that is where i will talk about all the more specific things like very detailed stuff where that i don't talk about here so anyways okay and then on your side of things this is like masculine side of things then we got the divine feminine side of things over here again you're in this very kind of like cold energy right now because i feel like you're not contacting them either but you're very much just like standing in your power right now like you're very much just like this is what I want, this is what I'm gonna get, um, and you're respecting yourself, I feel, you're respecting your boundaries, and this puts you in an empress energy, so now we have someone in emperor energy and an empress energy, so this is why a connection can happen, because you guys are both standing in your power now, you're both in your energy, um, but yeah, I do see that you're you're knowing that this is gonna happen. It's just like you're just sitting there by your window with your your cat. I keep getting something about a purring cat, um, but you're just sitting there like, yep, it's coming. I know it. Like you just know you're trusting, um, you're manifesting. Like we said, um, this is also something that like I see you also like laying down a lot. Like you could be meditating on this or just like um resting a lot lately like i don't see you doing like like taking a lot of action like i see all the actions on this divine masculine side whereas you're just kind of in this waiting energy but it's in the the feminine energy like the yin energy and then we have the yang energy over here so yin and yang it works out right that's that's good it's like you're in a receiving energy right um i do also see though uh for some like there is some negative thoughts sometimes where you're like okay like when's it gonna happen like i've been waiting for a while now are you gonna reach out to me are you gonna text me when are you gonna text me like some of those thoughts are coming through so just make sure like every time those come up like you're just like nope this is happening i'm trusting in my power you know just always remember that you hold the power and that I, whatever you're doing is working so don't let the negative thoughts creep in I'm just saying like sometimes that might happen but anyways like your ten of pentacles is on its way like whatever you've been manifesting is is like very close to being here in the in the 3d world i should say um because yeah i see that someone's wish is about to come true and this is something that to do with a high priestess as well so you obviously could be someone very spiritual um there's something about the energy though do you see this right around her like it's like the energy like you guys have like a magnetic energy that's drawing this masculine in like there's something about you that's a very addictive energy i feel like that's it's just making someone 
I don't know, really want to come close to you. It's something about the mystery of you as well. Like this person can't read you the same way they used to. Um, there's something about a transformation even with you. Maybe you look different or you're like, you know, leveling up. Like you just are, I don't know, stepping into your power more. Like you're really just owning yourself. Like it's something like that. I don't know, this person is just like very attracted to you too. Like I don't know if you did something with your looks, but they just find you so attractive. Um, but yeah, you're drawing this person in and it's like you're drawing in a wish. This is a wish fulfillment here. Um, but look at it, I feel like you're just sitting back like, yep, yeah, this is gonna happen. Like you're just trusting, you're not doing anything. And also look, th guys, there's a coffee cup on this card again. I'm telling you, someone's gonna meet for coffee or ask you to meet for coffee. That's just a message, I swear. It's gonna be someone's message um anyways but yeah and then we have a new beginning right here and this is something that i feel like um this card was clarifying i can't remember the transformation card here this is something that someone kept secret for a long time that they want a new beginning with you um this is something that i feel like you always knew like would happen but they just like didn't say it to you like it's never come out but i finally feel like you're gonna you're gonna find this out because this was clarifying um Page of Wands was all about like discovery, new beginnings, taking a chance on something, like again, finding things out. So you're going to find out something that's been kept secret from you. And again, I feel like with the way this card is, like it's something someone's been working on for a long time. Like they've written all these things. They've written a book. I don't know. They, they've been like in their basement, you know, sitting, writing something and finally they're going to come out with it. Something like that. Um, I keep, I was hearing basement apartment the other day as well. So yeah, that is what I'm getting, guys. Also, I'm seeing you as being single here. Someone's single. But you're just like, you're waiting on this. And you're not saying anything until this happens. Like you're you're waiting on them to take the action this time. And I'm seeing they're going to do that. Like, someone is returning, guys. Someone wants a second chance with you. This is... I, I can't make it more clear, like, how much someone wants a second chance with you. That is just all I'm seeing. They were conflicted in the past. They're not conflicted anymore. Someone is so confident that they want this with you like it's not even a question for them anymore they're just like yeah i want like a full-on relationship with this person that's it like they're just confident about it now um all right so that's what i'm seeing i don't know if i'll mention any um channel messages in this video maybe a couple for you guys but i was hearing like with the ace of cups something about cold water um that song which has so many important lyrics in it it says i'll still be patient with you because all this time i wasted um time took us to different places i won't let you go i'll be your lifeline tonight because we all get lost sometimes you know it's how we learn and how we grow and i want to lay with you till i'm old you shouldn't be fighting on your own guys and then i heard coffee as well so again something about asking you to go for a cup of coffee but um this person wants to grow old with you like they and they feel like you know like maybe you helped them in a time when they were down to and they want to do the same for you i feel and they yeah th this person has grown they want to tell you that too they've grown they're not the same person anymore i just keep seeing that they're not in the same energy anymore than they that they used to be there's so much regret there for the past and how they acted um and yeah someone feels like there's a lot of wasted time too between you guys because you both were kind of like in this energy of just like waiting for the other ones to reach out or say something but i feel like this masculine is going to break the silence between you guys um I don't know if there's anything else I want to mention. I have quite a few messages. We're going to go over all of them in members. Um, yeah, maybe we'll mention most of them in, in members. But anyways, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Uh, if this resonates, again, join members and uh, definitely check out what I have there. Sorry, I'm distracted by my cats going in a box um definitely check out members join members if you'd like to support the channel or if you'd like to hear more detailed messages about this read um but yeah thank you guys for watching comment like and subscribe as always and um if you'd ever want to donate to the channel uh i do have the amazon watch list or the paypal link in the description box and yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching once again and i will see you guys in the next one all right bye